Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to show you how to create a border or a frame in Photoshop. We'll create a blurred border and a customizable border. Now this is considered definitely a beginner intermediate technique. Uh, so there are a lot of better tutorials out there that are much more advanced that's going to give you excellent effects. This is a beginner intermediate website, so we're going to stick to that. It's very easy to do, and it, the end result is excellent. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the post, and you'll find a link called Download Supporting Files. Left click on that, and you'll download this PE Duck B image. Once you have it open in Photoshop, go ahead and duplicate that background layer with a Control J and then hide the background layer so we're left with layer one and only one active layer now let's go ahead and get going let's go ahead and select the mark uh, rectangular marquee selection tool which is on the top left hand corner of a two column toolbox and we're going to make a selection of what the area that we want to keep and we're trying to keep the sides of here about even as possible it definitely looks better if it is even but it does not have to be perfect for this tutorial so let's keep going and so anything inside here is going to be kept everything outside is going to become the border the first border we're going to show you is a blurred border now that it's selected we need to feather this and we're going to come down to left click select and come down to modify and then feather now what does feather do well it expands beyond this marching ants and says okay we want to blur it or feather it beyond that this is how we're going to create that blurred uh, border you can use a, anywhere from radius probably about a 15 to a 30 will look pretty good uh, for this tutorial we'll leave it at 20 or put it at 25 pixels and left click OK so now you'll notice the corners are a little bit curved and even though you haven't seen it, you don't see it it is actually feathered that so now we need to tell Photoshop we don't want to blur this area inside we want to blur actual frame so we're going to come to select and inverse now we've talked about inverse in the past you can do a shift control I and you're just going to hold that shift key hold down the control key and hit that I key and it does the same uh, inverse and you'll notice that now you have two marching ants and it's show, you're showing here what you're seeing here is that it's selected inside only the frame you're not going to affect the the duck, duck area now we're going to hit the D delete key or DEL key on the keyboard and we can do a control D to deselect and there's your end result very simple blurred border but a nice effect Let's use this history palette, which we've talked about in the past in previous tutorial, and go back to, let's say, the starting point here. We want to show you that it's not only the rectangular marquee tool, you can use the elliptical marquee tool. And maybe we want to make a selection around the duck. And once again, we can do a control, hold down the control key. I'm sorry, we need to do the select, modify, feather do the 25 now we can do the control shift I and then del hit delete key control D to deselect and that adds a nice uh, effect let's go back to the original here and show you how to create a customizable um, border we can use that rectangular marquee tool again make that selection but this time instead of feathering it we're going to do the select and we're going to do the inverse right away we don't want this blurred now there's many different ways to actually create that border using different filters we're, we're going to show you the glass filter starting off and we're going to left click on that filter menu come down to distort and then left click on glass now you have the OK option you can left click on that once you're satisfied with the changes or cancel disregard it and we'll, we'll get back to the setting here which is nice it allows you to flip the two different settings uh, or filters the distortion what it does is it takes those pixels 
and actually shifts it so it's not in the exact spot as it was before. So if we hold down the left mouse button over this up arrow slider, you can see how that changes the actual border. Or you can actually left click in this numeric value field and enter a 5. And that's what we used for this tutorial. Now smoothness is exactly what it sounds like. If As we turn it up, it becomes very smooth, the glass. For this tutorial, we're going to use a 1. So make it rather uh, rough. So it's very blocky. And then we have this texture. We can play around with this. We could use frosted if we wanted to. We could use the blocks. Or on this tutorial, we'll use tiny lens. Scaling, we'll leave it at 100%. But once again, go ahead and play around with it. And we're going to left click OK to apply it. Do a Control D to deselect it. And there's our end result, which is a very nice frame for a very quick frame. Let's go back to where we're on select inverse and we can go back into that glass and show you distort glass. Now instead of using the glass the beauty of Photoshop is it allows you to change that filter on the fly and you can just left click this drop down arrow and you'll see all these different options here. So maybe we want to use let's use a sumi uh, e and there's a nice little border here so that looks good maybe you want something different let's go back we can do that filter uh, doesn't matter which filter you get into for say distort it allows you to change it maybe do something like a stained glass uh, that's a nice effect that's pretty good for stained glass you usually want to keep the actual cell size which is right here rather large or it looks, actually looks uh, not uh, that good border thickness is how strong in between the cell sizes are and light intensity is going to be how bright and dark it is let's go ahead and left click OK that looks very good good quick easy border let's go back and show you one more and we'll go into that glass again uh, you could technically go into the actual specific one from instead of going into distort you could find uh, the stained glass and that would also work for this one let's go ahead and do chalk and charcoal and left click OK Control D and there's a nice effect to create a border. So with the customizable borders it allows you to create well there's many many options you can play around with. Just so you're aware not one border is excellent for or great for each photo. On this one we could have used a water ripple uh, as the border. Problem is, is it already has water ripples so it's very hard to tell what is the border. Play around with it, play around with the settings. Uh, you've now learned how to use, do the blurred borders, borders so for the, the marquee, rectangular marquee uh, selection tool, elliptical tool, and then the customizable borders. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks.